Sachi and welcome back to the fitness formula where we'll be starting our journey towards getting those perfect abs, a toned butt and sculpted legs together. This is part of our ongoing two week beginners challenge at the end of which I promise you you're going to feel a whole lot better, healthier and of course fitter. If you haven't already, please make sure you check out our introductory episode to this series to get an idea of what you're actually signing up for. We're going to keep it simple. Follow me as I take you through the 20-minute workout routine that's going to completely focus on the booty. You're really going to feel the burn in those glutes, but I promise you it's going to strengthen, tone and tighten that butt. Let's get fit together using the hashtag GetFitGetGlamorous on Instagram so we can repost all of your progress pictures and workout stories as well. All exercises today are 30 seconds each with a 10 second break between them to help you catch your breath and finish strong. Now let's get started. Start with your feet firmly planted on the ground, hip width apart. Really focus on driving those heels to feel it in your hamstrings and glutes when you give them a good squeeze. If you can, pulse your knees out to the spine and hold in the upward position for 10 seconds to really work your glutes. Driving through your right heel, lift your left leg towards the sky. Make sure you push from your heel and really squeeze the glutes while doing so. Drop your leg to 45 degrees and hold it there for about 10 seconds to really feel the burn. Now, do the same movement at a steady pace on the opposite leg. Rest up and dive into the next. Roll onto your left side and lift those ankles off the ground and keep your knees together. Keep opening and closing the knees as wide as you can without forcing it while keeping the torso facing forward. Keep using your glutes for every movement. Once again, you're going to finish off with the pulsing for 10 seconds to really work the inner thigh. Do one whole circuit on your left side and then roll onto your right side and repeat the same techniques keeping your breath, form and reps controlled. If you've held your previous position, you're doing great. Now stretch out that leg and start kicking back in a 45 degree angle while making sure you keep the core tight so you're not rocking back and forth too much. Keep your foot flexed and steady to work each muscle in your leg thoroughly. 
Once again, we're going to keep the foot suspended for about 10 seconds. Now do the same movement at a steady pace on the opposite leg. Now angle your foot so it moves straight out parallel to the ground to target the outer butt. Keep your leg as straight as you can and move back down into the knees slow and steady. Now do the same movement at a steady pace on the opposite leg. Give yourself a whole minute to relax by stretching those muscles in the number 4 position. Stack your hands right below your shoulders, flat on the ground and knees right below your hips before you begin. Using your right leg, alternate between kicking back and to the side while keeping the foot flexed. Once again, this double dose of technique is going to really burn some fat and sculpt those muscles. Remember to keep your hips and chest squared to the floor. Pulse in both positions for 20 seconds with your knee as high off the ground as you possibly can keep it. Now do the same movement at a steady pace on the opposite leg. Start by kicking your leg outwards, toes pointed and as you move back in, cross your leg over onto the opposite one to really work the inner thigh and glute.
make sure you pulse up and down for the last 10 seconds. Now do the same movement at a steady pace on the opposite leg. Finish this off with a 10 second pulsing as usual before we move into the next technique. With your toe pointing outwards, start forming semicircles in the air, going back and forth while really keeping the chest and core square and steady to the ground. Not only will this give a good workout to your inner thighs, calves and glutes, but also give your groin a much needed stretch. Now do the same movement at a steady pace on the opposite leg. Kneel on your mat with your knees hip width apart and your feet together behind you. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, lay your torso over your thighs. Try to lengthen your neck and spine by drawing your ribs away from your tailbone and the crown of your head away from your shoulders. Lift those hips up with your glutes squeezed in as you breathe and draw your belly button into the spine. Keep going for the full 30 seconds after which just slowly pulse as you hold it up in the air for 10 seconds. Draw your knees into the chest and lovingly rock yourself from side to side to relax your body. Do this for 15 to 20 seconds. Open up those knees and grab the soles of your feet to pull your knees towards your armpits to really stretch the glutes. Do this for 15 to 20 seconds as well. Finish the cool down with a figure four stretch on both legs and hold it in place for 10 seconds each. And we're done.
I know how difficult this kind of workout can be for us beginners to get through, but if you made it through the day, I'm proud of you and it's all going to be worth it in the end. Make sure you come back for our next episode in the fitness formula and until next time stay tuned and stay glamorous.